OK, so I'm just going to kind of go through the first example. Right here, I have arc sine of sine of 5 pi over 3. Now, the difficult thing about this one is, well, one thing, guys, remember, when we were talking about inverse properties, why did we, when I had x plus 1 equals 4, why do I subtract 1? Because the subtracting the 1 does what to the adding 1? It, counters. it like counteracts it, right? It undoes it, right? So that's why we call those inverse operations. They undo each other. So when you guys look at a problem and you see arc sine and then sine, what do you think inverse sine or arc sine and sine are doing to each other? They're undoing each other, right? So what you're going to get in this case is you're going to get you know, equal to 5 pi over 3. But there becomes a problem because we are still taking the inverse sine of sine of 5 pi over 3. And what we notice is if we get our answer of 5 pi over 3, remember for sine, it has our answer, our range, it has to be within the range of negative pi halves and pi halves. And is 5 pi over 3 within that range? No. So what we're going to have to do is, again, find coterminal angles. So you subtract 2 pi, which is the same thing as 6 pi over 3. So therefore, you end up going to get negative pi thirds. So that's going to be your final answer. Okay. You got to make sure that it's within your range. 